Tomorrow in Loudoun County, parents will be able to talk to school officials and authorities about the dangers of fentanyl. A community event will be held at Parkview High School that's in Sterling. Of course, that's the same high school that had nine students overdose all within the past few weeks. Juliana Valencia is live there in Sterling with more on this weekend event. Juliana, good morning. Good morning, Jumi and Tony. You know, this is an event to make families aware of what's going on, what they can do to help have those conversations with kids. Because, I mean, News 4 uncovered that some of those overdoses that happen off campus, those students got the drugs from school. So tomorrow's event, it's happening right here at Parkview High School at 1030 in the morning. Loudoun County Public Schools is hosting it with the sheriff's office in conjunction to educate the community about fentanyl. It will include an explanation of how to administer the overdose reversal drug naloxone. It's very, very dangerous out there, and we're trying to make sure that the community is aware, that the students are aware, that the parents are aware, the teachers are aware. What we need to do is get as much information as we can to work this from a law enforcement standpoint, find out who's doing this, and, uh, and, and make sure we take them out of, out of commission. Many parents only became aware of the overdoses earlier this week after Parkview High School revealed some students had OD'd this school year. Loudoun County Public Schools then followed up with a long letter to families for the entire district where they revealed at least 15 Loudoun County High School students have overdosed this school year. Ten of them did so in school. Thankfully, none of those students died, but Jumi and Tony is still just very concerning for these high school students. Sure is. Juliana Valencia, thank you.